Bartitsu is possibly the first mixed martial arts that ever existed. It was opened as a school in London in the late 1800s by a fellow named Edward William Barton Wright. That's where the name comes from, Barton Wright Bartitsu. He was born in India and when he came back to England in the late 1800s, there was a garroting epidemic and the streets really weren't safe and he felt it a good business decision to open a school for self-defense. Edward William Barton Wright had brought two instructors from Japan to teach jiu-jitsu to the Londoners. He also had a Swiss uh, walking stick self-defense instructor, Pierre Vignier. He himself taught English boxing, just good old-fashioned pugilism, and savat, which was a French form of kicking pioneered by the dock workers of Marseille. The advantage of doing this is that I can come and use the rig to pull myself up. I teach Bartitsu in uh, Manhattan and we approach it as a historical workshop and therefore we don't have as much of an aspect on competition or becoming the best. Those are things that just happen through the study. But you're going to turn and So Bartitsu lay dormant and forgotten for almost a century. It was rediscovered mostly by accident in one of the Sherlock Holmes stories called The Empty House, Conan Doyle says that uh, Sherlock Holmes has knowledge of Baritsu, which is a misspelling of Bartitsu. In 2009, Sherlock Holmes hit the big screen with the Guy Ritchie movie. After decades of being more or less forgotten, he actually was revived and became exactly as he was to the Victorians, sort of an action-adventure hero somebody with a shrewd mind and the physical skills to fight injustice. A lady. And just as he himself has been revived from the pages of 19th century magazines, Bartitsu has also been revived as the fighting art of Sherlock Holmes. In the first movie, there are, there are two moments when he breaks down in his mind what he's going to do. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. <laughs> Counter with cross to left cheek. And these are very Bartitsu aspects of examining how to disrupt somebody progressively, strike after strike after strike. Uh, one of the things that they taught how to use back then was a cane, because every gentleman had a cane, every lady had an umbrella. Nowadays, people don't walk around with their canes, so it's not very practical to teach that to people. But besides that small element, Bartitsu is pretty viable as a modern method of self-defense because it teaches you awareness and it teaches you some fundamentals of fighting and self-defense that will never change because of the way human beings are built. Doesn't matter if the other guy is bigger or stronger or more aggressive. If you are smarter and have a cool head on your shoulders, and have a little background in training, then you can easily foil an opponent, even one who's twice your size. <laughs>